Uh, yeah, it was uh, you know a great you know great team effort. Um, you know, just proud of, of how we, we battled. We had a lot of adversity in the first half with foul trouble, and, and we were, as everyone knows, uh, down three key players in this game. So to, to the way guys stepped up and you know fought through that game, they they they're used to playing you know high level games. Uh, they've already proven they could beat you know two really good basketball teams uh, that are uh, you know, in Oregon and Baylor. So we, uh, and they competed throughout the whole 40 minutes. They never quit the game and, and they, uh, they fought battles. So credit to Texas Southern. Um, I, I just, you know, again, I'm amazed at, uh, and, and feel very blessed, fortunate to coach uh, a guy like Zylan Cheatham tonight. And, and you know, again, just almost identical to our last game just with his overall impact on so many areas uh, of the basketball game. So it was uh, great for him. I thought Romello White was terrific in the first half when, when we needed uh, that presence uh, inside and, and did some really good things. When you prepare for this game, did it help that Texas Southern already got your attention beating Baylor in Oregon? I mean, that, that always in, in, in meetings and watching film and, and, and stuff, when, when you're talking to them, you, it gets their attention a little more. And you know, they have. They have guys that played at a very high level, and a number of those guys. So um, we made all we made the guys aware, and they knew about it. Was Tayshawn just knee to knee? Was that the problem? Yeah, he, he landed on it, and it was more of a, a bruise. Uh, so we we went through pretty extensive testing with our doctors at halftime, and and he was fine. And he said he was he felt okay, and it was cleared. So and he was moving very well in the second half. When Zylan got here, did you see him as a Kind of a triple threat guy. I mean, is he got all those skills? I, I thought when we were preparing to play him a few years ago that I was very concerned about his versatility as a player and the different things he could do. And as I had him in practice over a year and, and get a chance to watch him get rebounds and lead the fast break and make good decisions and then also be a finisher on the fast break, you just get get excited about possibility different ways that you could use his talents and. You know, he could attack from the perimeter and, and he could attack inside. So it's, he's, uh, and he's unselfish as he's shown the last two games. As a whole, how did you feel about the team's performance on the glass? I, I thought that, you know, again, we, we, they took a lot of long threes and, and that meant when they missed there were some long rebounds that we didn't secure. But, you know, that, that would be something that we got to do a little better job. I think if, uh, if, if we have a deeper rotation and, and have fresher guys in, for more extended periods of time, that, that we would uh, we would come up with those. I think that was maybe a product of just uh, some fatigue. How fast the game was. This game was was played at a much faster up and down tempo than 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 our last game and and most of our games this year. So it was great to see that we were able to be in that type of shape with a with a limited you know uh, rotation and still be able to handle those minutes. What was your take on 19 turnovers? That's like a lot for you guys. I, I, again, when you, when, when you, you know, Zylan, we could run offense through, but, but you know, he's not a true point guard, and, and um, you know, I, I, I don't really, I'm not concerned at all about it. The way they play with their four guards, and they're, they're very active and, and uh, scrambling, you know, type of defense. Uh, that was, you know, something as we get Remy and Rob back into the lineup that, that I, don't, I don't see as a real big issue. How close is Remy? Can you tell? Remy is, uh, he's getting there, you know. I, I know I've been saying that this whole week, but, you know, he is, uh, he's getting closer every every second. Do you expect, <laughs> him, uh, expect him for Nevada? I mean, it's it, it's still up in the air, you know, as far as I'm concerned, until I get more visual proof of him being out on the floor and, and going through practices. And, and, you know, he'll get more treatment tomorrow. And then, and then we'll reassess, you know, where he's at on Monday. Field goal percentage went up in the second half. Better shot selection, just made shots. I just it was a combination of both. We I thought we took too many threes in the, in the first half. I thought we might have settled too much, uh, and and I think we got in the lane more. And some of our threes that we did make in the second half were more driving kick stuff. And you know, Cherry hit a couple big shots too in the second half. I thought of key key moments. What what are some of the big picture things that you have learned about your team to this by this to this point? I just think the versatility of different ways that we could attack and, you know, different ways that we could be effective and how we could, you know, count on our, our defense, uh, you know, to, you know, we held them to 71 points. I, you know, I know that, uh, you know, they, they shot low percentages, 35% is a good number. 
you would you would hope you could turn them a little more, but again, when when they're playing that many guards, typically they they probably wouldn't turn it over as much. Um, so I was I was pleased with that and just the versatility of our team and just knowing that again we're not at full strength and none of the injuries that that I am talking about of, of key players, multiple key players, are injuries that I foresee uh, being long term injuries that we're not going to see this guy again. These are. Uh, guys that we hope to get back real soon. What did you think of the crowd support tonight, even when Tayshaun went down? Yeah, I thought it was outstanding. I think it, at key times, the, really, the crowd responded to, to how we were playing and in the second half especially. And It was a big time where the crowd really got energized and I, I think they threw the ball out of bounds on a, on a pick and roll. And When you, when you have that type of noise, it, it rattles your opponent some. And you know, In these type of games, you, you, you need every advantage you can get. It seems like Romello's made a lot of improvement down low. Did you kind of see that throughout the summer and the fall? I mean, he's yeah. I mean, he's he's one of the guys that that will wear an opponent down because he's he's so physical and uh, yet he's he's still got good mobility and you know he's he's been a great teammate through this because other guys have have had you know big statistical nights and, and throughout our whole win streak here he's he's uh, even though some nights. He may not have put up great numbers. Uh, uh, he's he's played great defense. He's done all the little things. If if he wasn't in the game, he's been real positive with his teammates. He's really uh, been been a great guy to coach. Do you feel like your team's kind of got a sense of pride in playing the non-conference now that you know, twenty wins in a row is a lot? So. Yeah, I mean we're we just want to you know get every year's different. It's it's just worked out this way you know for whatever reason, but. You know, we're just trying to improve. We're focusing on that. You know, it's uh, our our, our schedule is going to get exciting. It's going to, um, you know, from this point until until Christmas. Uh, so, you know, I think the guys are very enthusiastic about that. When Zion <coughs> exited the game, you were kind of raising your arms, getting the crowd pumped up. Why was it important to you for the crowd to recognize it? I just it's something that really hasn't been done here. I don't do. Do we know when it was the last time? Six years. Six years. I mean, these things don't happen too often, and he's come. He was one assist shy of doing it the other night too. So I just think when you're talking about things that are unselfish uh, statistics, his rebounding, his passing, when you get a triple double, it's pretty special. So I hope I want everyone to let him know how excited we are for him that he's here. You know, <laughs> that makes sense. Thanks, guys.